Ouch. I broke a fin off my rocket and I've glued it on several times in the past, but now I want to fix it permanently. That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a broken fin that has through the wall fin tabs like this one here. This rocket here is the Zephyr. This is my original prototype. Here's the uh, production version. It looks identical. <laughs> On my prototype version, I flew the heck out of it. I was trying to break it um, and I succeeded, but I was testing all kinds of parachutes with this rocket, which is why um, I, it has this crease in it and it doesn't really matter to me. I'm gonna, I wanna continue to fly it because it's just a good workhorse of a rocket. But um, when the fin tab broke off on the field, I glued it back on with super glue and I've glued it on several times and it keeps busting off. Um, now, one of the reasons for this, and in the real version, I've, I'm doing things differently than I did here in the prototype. So don't get afraid to buy this rocket. It's a great rocket. And when you follow the instructions in the real rocket, you won't have this problem. But one of the reasons why this happened is because I didn't put epoxy on the inside because I didn't have a good way. Um, when you get to the real version, I'll show you a really cool technique to make sure that you get good epoxy joints on the inside of the rocket. Um, so now I have to fix this. And the first step in that is to remove all the old epoxy and super glue that is on the fin because you want a nice tight joint. Um, and for that, I'm going to use some really rough sandpaper. Um, you can see I got a lot of ugly super glue on there. So I'm going to take that off. I want to get down to as much of the wood as I can. Now this rocket, when I'm done, it's not going to be pretty, but it's going to be functional. As I said, I just want to fly this rocket. I don't really care what it looks like. Um, it's not going to be as pretty as that one. It wasn't, it's not going to be as pretty as it was when it, when it was first painted. Okay. Also, I've got a pretty good fillet of uh, super glue on both sides. And that really needs to come off too. That's going to be a little bit harder to take off. I want to try to preserve as much as the paint as I can. So I'm going to put some masking tape over the top of that. Um, normally I'd sand it off, but by sanding it off, I'd sand right into that paint too. So I'm going to try to chip it off or cut it off with a hobby knife. Get this out of some safety glasses, and these are also my cheater glasses, getting old. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to take a knife and try to cut that off. And this is going to take a while, so I might just continue to work on this off camera. I just want to show you kind of the technique. And I also found these cool, almost like chisel blades for a hobby knife. You can see it's, it's got a flat edge on it. The chisel would probably work pretty good in this. But I don't have one of those. So with this, I think I can do like kind of a scraping motion. I could use a you can also use a razor blade like this. S scrape it off. I want to get it all the way down so that I can slide the fin into the slot and not have it bind on anything. 
Okay, so this is going to take a while, so I'm going to work on this and then I'll, I'll, when I get done, I'll be back on camera. <laughs>